Casey Cameron Boy here with Nancy Netanyahu is going to do a formal complaint on Officer Yule for trying to dox him and harass him. So, Karma is going to hit you, Officer Yule. Hey, Hi, Sergeant. Hey, Sergeant Reed, Hi, how are you doing? You are Nathaniel Plunder? Yes, sir. And you have a complaint you want to file? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I'm going to take this around. Do you want to give me a verbal just because I know and just. Basically, you're doing. Yeah, you know, I, I, uh, I'm an activist. I have a YouTube channel and I do, you know, public filming and, you know, First Amendment on and that sort of thing. And I was uh, doing a, going to document, uh, I don't know if you call them speed traps or what, though. It was uh, one of your motor officers I saw. Okay. It was at the Bank of America parking lot on Main and, uh, Main and Broadway. Oh, by the mall? Yeah, by the, by the town center mall. And um, I just, you know, was going to go over there and document that and film that. And upon. You know, as I approached the officer, you know, I noticed it was an officer named John Yu, who I had a negative interaction with about four years ago, which I made a complaint at that time. Okay. And uh, so, you know, I'll be honest with you, I mean, we got kind of, you know, I mean, we weren't yelling at each other, but there was definitely a verbal exchange. Yeah, that yeah. So, and, and to kind of basically wrap it up, he started, you know, my friend who was with me, he was a witness, was, was live streaming. And sometimes we live stream just for our safety because something happens, there's documentation of it, you know, footage gets deleted or whatever. And um, Officer Yule started, um, you know, I really didn't have a problem with the fact that he was saying my, my first and last name, like, hey, whatever, you know, but, but he started uh, continuously repeating my, my address, which is actually my mom's address. Continue, oh, you know that you still in the, you know, repeating the full address like over and over. I just thought, I don't know what your department policy is on that. I mean, I'm not, I, you know, I don't know if it's a what, what, but I just thought that was very unprofessional, you know. I mean, that's something I could put, you know, especially as an activist, I'm a public figure, you know. I mean, there's a lot of people that support what I do, there's also a lot of people that don't, you know, and I've received, I can understand that. And I just felt that for him to, I mean, I wouldn't do that to him, you know, I would never, I mean, I've got thousands of followers. I mean, what would happen if I went and published his, his. His home act, yeah, right, which yeah. I wouldn't do, but you know, I just felt that was okay. Yeah. I just felt there needed. I mean, um, you know, like I said, I had a prior run in, I mean, yeah, that was in May of 2017, and I didn't know, I don't know if you want to look into that. Or yeah, what was it. just uh, kind of the crux of that, or just kind of the summary? Like, on the oh, what happened in 2017? Yeah. Uh, where it was, he, um, I was doing a, a, a first amendment audit, I don't know if you're familiar with that one. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure, yeah. I kind of assumed probably would, yeah. but I was yeah. doing an audit. In general, I'm not saying like yours, but in general, like, some of the other I mean, I think they're a good thing. I mean, it just, you know, especially when they're, they're good. Like, if people are doing the right thing, that's a win for everybody, you know, so. And, you know, but, Sergeant, I'll be, I mean, yeah. not to, I, I don't want to ramble, take too no, much of your time, but I mean, most, I mean, I've done hundreds of these yeah. types of videos, you know, since yeah. I mean, in the six years I've been doing this. And as far as the city of Santa Maria, most, with the exception of two incidences, right? Mo most of my interactions, pretty much almost all, with as far as San Diego police yeah. officers go, have been positive. That's good. Like, you know. Yeah, any, yeah. You know yeah. Um, it, it, but for some reason, the you know he. Uh, but anyways, I, I, back to your, your you question know, yeah, yeah. about what happened in 2017. He he had uh, detained me and claimed that he knew that I had a record from you know nearly 20 years ago. And he said that gave him the right to, you know, go, I mean, he went through my, I mean, he didn't just do like a, a, a Terry frisk. I mean, he went through my pockets, yeah. opened up my backpack, was going, and, yeah. you know, so I went and filed a complaint about that. Okay. You know, and I, honestly, I haven't seen it since. Okay. And, and I didn't, I didn't go there specifically to, uh, oh, no. No, I was going to get the, you got the door for him, Mr. Warner? Oh, yeah, 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 thank you. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, cool. No, and then, okay, no. so okay, so that happened. You filed the complaint. Did you get any correspondence, or you know? I did. It, okay. it said it was sent to the, the chief. I think it was Philip Hansen at the time. Okay. And, and, and the only thing it said was uh, he felt that the uh, officer yielded didn't violate park department policy or the law, and that there was no further action. Okay. okay. That was just the end. I didn't do anything else. Yeah, you got you it. Know, I didn't go file a claim against the city or any, yeah. any of that nonsense. But no, and so uh, and and I want to know that when I went to. When I had my interaction with uh, Officer Yule last week in yeah. front of the bank, Monday, right? Yes, yes, sir. Oh, been Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Seventh was Monday. Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, and uh, when I had that interaction with him, I didn't go there specifically. Hey, there's Officer Yule. I'm gonna go there and bother him or get in a, you know, that was I just happened to notice that it was him, and uh, he said. I mean, I have to go back and review the videos published on his channel, but um, you know, you know, there were words exchanged, you know. 
um, you know, no threats or anything like that. But yeah. it was just, you know, I just felt that the fact that he kept repeatedly sending my uh, my mother's address over and over again, I, yeah. I thought. Knowing it's recording, you're thinking live streaming and not wanting people, <coughs> regardless. And I would never do that to him or any officer, you know? know? I mean, it's regardless of whether I know where they live yeah. or not. Was, was there any other officer's yeah. president or was he by himself? Or? There was someone else, but I don't know his name. I actually had an incident with him. Um, I was doing, um, he was doing like speed trap or something at a light as well. And then I went up to him and then he knew who he was and he made a like, kind of like a homophobic comment. And he said that he was my pregnant girlfriend when he knew who he was. And then I confronted him last time because he showed up with Officer Yu. Um, as a backup, I don't know, he showed up right away. So I told him about it. And he just, he just like, mm, like, like he knew what he did. It's not like harassment because I thought it was harassment, but I already checked with my lord, but it's more like, like a homophobic comment that you guys shouldn't be making. You that know, was like, on the eighth or something prior. That was like way back. Oh, okay. That was like way back. And we never made a complaint about it. And we never made a complaint about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, and I also want to highlight like um, he started doxing Officer Yu. He started doxing him. I didn't know a lot of information that Officer Yu said about him because even though we hang around, there is a lot of information that we don't share among each other. It's like sometimes we don't even know our names, right? We, like I might be with another activist and I won't tell them my name. They just know me by Casey. Got it, got it. I would know him for news now something. So, that's the that's the type of safety we have. That even among ourselves, we don't trust each other because uh, we have too much trolls, and there is people that they turn their back on us, and then they start trolling yeah, us. Angry just in life in and now, so they take confidence yeah. Now. And now I know yeah. stuff about him that I didn't know. Yeah. Because okay. of officer, you. So and the other officer that was there with him. So just so I have it clear, and I will read this. You walk up there near. Broadway Main in Bank of America. Is, is you all on a motorcycle or a car? He was on a motorcycle. On a motorcycle. You're just filming. Yeah. I mean, how's this kind of in, in, in interaction? Kind of well, we car? saw man, and, and when we okay. see a public official, we go and record. Okay. So you and, start recording. Yeah. How far away you think were you guys standing from one I was standing pretty far away from. I the, pop out of the blue. And I, I zoomed. Actually, the reason I knew it was him, I couldn't actually make out his face from where I was standing, but I, I zoomed in on. Him. Okay. And then you know, recognize it from the yeah, park. Recognize it from the previous. Okay. And it started. I mean, I didn't go over there and say, you know, I didn't go over there and start calling names or anything like that. You got know. It. I knew who he was through his video. Yeah, got it. Yeah, so I knew, like, when I saw him, I'm like, oh, you're Officer you. I'm like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm letting you have it now. Yeah, yeah. I know that's a pretty generalized description. No, I got it. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you're a bot? Yes, sir. Okay, this is your contact information. Yes, sir. So you did witness this and you got a document. That's yes, perfect. sir. And I got um, my video as well. Okay. And everything you is guys muted. Both have this on video, this interaction, because yes. I'll note that in case. Yeah, I got that on video. Yes. want to see it, I'm sure. Yes. Um, yeah. you, you want to share it with me now for me to you want to wait for your contact? Uh, it's on YouTube, actually. I mean, all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. And two, if, if that's not good enough, I know sometimes, you know, I've, I've had officers accuse us of, you know, saying, oh, we well, edit these videos to make no, it. No, no, we got raw footage. I have the raw footage, too. Okay. So okay. if that's okay. something that, you know, you or. Yeah, I'll pass it on. I'll make a note. And, you yeah, know, we got the raw footage as well. Yeah. So, so at some point, you guys start having a discussion or conversation or dialogue. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, and, and you know who started that, or I'm not that. Well, I was I mean, first. I mean, like he started the problem. I was first. Be, yeah, I was first because I, I went behind him. I, I didn't know who, who he was, so I went behind him and I started walking towards him to film him. Yeah. So that's when he turned around. I was like, wait a minute. I know who this guy is. Okay. So I was like, your officer, and I saw his name. So I was yeah. like, oh, you're officer you. Yeah, yeah. Or you, and then I said it wrong. He's like, no, it's you, or I don't know. Yeah, okay. So I was like, oh man, what's up, dude? He's like, to, that's when I asked him, I'm still doing illegal searches on people. And he said, no, I'm still not. And that's, I think that's when he, like, he approached him. That okay, okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, but I was the first one. He, uh, apparently it was his lucky day that I found him. Yeah, no, how close were you, right him? Just what is it? How close were you distance wise? Just trust I went behind him because I'm a Bank of America customer, so I went and got some money. So I saw him and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go. This is it. You no, know? How close were you? Were you to him? I'm just curious. Uh, no, they say that's his bike, and I just came in pretty yeah. much just that's it. Okay, about five, safe distance is actually like the like the safe distance for for COVID thing. All right. And yeah. they were both on the they were both on the bike. They were both on the bike. Side by side yeah. or yeah. side by side. Okay. Okay. So the other one broke yeah. up to him. Oh, while you were there? Yeah, yeah, because the other, the second officer, uh, again, I don't know what his name is, but... Can you describe him, or...? Uh, he's a white guy, a kind of, um, um, he kind of reminds me of Matthew McConaughey. Um, he's, uh, mm -hmm. tall, white guy. Uh, he, he's in the thumbnail one of it. I, okay, I actually have... He's in one, but I don't got internet on this one. Ben, ben okay. Uh, Rice or Broads or... 
He's a motor officer. Okay. Okay. He's a motor okay. officer. Okay. He was there. He was there. All right. Yeah. And you, you pretty much you got that documented here. So, just so I know, you see him near Bank of America on the 8th, around uh -huh. 745, 815. Um, you don't recognize him immediately. Not immediately. Yeah, you go up because that's what you guys do. You guys are first in the matter. Like, if I see you stop, yeah. at a, stop somewhere, I'm going to go up to you and I'm going to start questioning you straight no, up. I got, I got like that. So, so, you see that. So that's you what I did. Gentlemen. You both gentlemen. Uh, so at some point you engage, yeah. get about five to seven feet from behind him, and you mm -hmm. recognize him, and there's an exchange of, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Because as I said, the Bank of America was behind him. Yeah. I'm a Bank of and America you, you customer. Yeah. You guys, is, you started an exchange. You were yeah, we had that. Yeah. You started. Okay. And what was kind of just give me, you give me the summary of kind of how that went. You know, I, I was, it basically was us going back and forth about you know him telling me that you know that he had a right to do that. And I said no, you don't. And da, da, da. It was just. Although you know, what he was out there doing the. What he did before? No, no, not not the what he was doing at that moment uh, from four years ago. The oh, that came out. Okay, okay. We were going. He said, "I have every right to do that." And blah 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 okay. blah. And he still thinks like he that. called me a criminal and then and you know and stuff. So okay. Uh, it was. It was. I mean, for lack of a better word. Yeah. But ultimately, what like professionalism, your opinion, is when he started throwing your address out there, you took that personal and. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he hadn't done that. I wouldn't be here right now. Okay. I mean, it's no, not like that's, I mean, that's fair. I chose to, you know, interact with him. I could, you know, when he started doing that, you yeah. know, I just wanted to ask him, you know, basically talk to him about what happened four years. I figured, well, it's him. We're here. You know, it's not like I plan on running into him again. But, yeah. You know. Like that's some, that's some personal stuff. Like that's like we filming you when you're off duty. Uh, personally, I wouldn't do that because no, you probably understand. you probably gonna be with your family. Yeah. That's the same thing. He's touching those personal yeah. things. Like, like yeah. I seen a lot of cops off duty, and and, not, and they see me that I've been there, and not because of that I'm a film, because I know they're with their family. What's the YouTube where these videos would be? Posted? Uh, Kern County Transparency. Yeah, I wrote it on the. Oh, you did? Okay. It's kind of lost in the the wording, but yeah. And you see Officer Yu, who is the. Oh, Kern County Transparency. Yeah. Channel? Yes. That's my channel. Okay. All right. And then the yeah. link to the original video with the original uh, that will be in the description, description of my video. That link okay. is in there just to make it easier. All right. Well, we do again. We we take all complaints. We investigate them all. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, and we actually we, we encourage them. I mean, not we encourage them, but we you know if we, people think our cops aren't doing the right thing. We want to know if we're doing the right thing. We want to yeah. know. Yeah. So, I'll be know, honest. So you will be notified. You know, you'll probably get a letter in writing saying yeah. this is moving forward. And, you usually get a letter when it's just disposition yeah. and, and yeah. judge, so like, like before. So. Yeah. And this is only, only the second complaint I've ever made. Yeah, no, it's not like I do these all the time. So, like, also, yeah, I, I, I would just say, you guys, I'm sure you know you've had these conversations doing what you do in your line of work, is just just do be aware. I mean, and I know sometimes it can seem a little more reasonable, but like anyone, they need their space to work. You know yeah. what I mean? And just today's current, you know, they and age and all that, yeah. Like, it can one. be. Not obstruction, but it, it can interfere with them performing their duties if you're close. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, because I mean, if if I'm on, I'm doing my job and you're feeling, I'm not yeah. gonna want you to close to me. I mean, I don't think you're a threat to me, but I just yeah. it's, you can't, you just can't. It's interfering. Sure. People didn't react to focus on you. So I would just encourage you to. I can't tell you what's reasonable, but try to stay yeah. reasonable enough space away. Like oh yeah, that that, that for sure. Because if you once you go up and engage and you're that close, they're forced yeah. to engage with you. Yeah. You know, as far as interact and have a conversation, yeah. you know, they're, they're being taken away from whatever it is they're doing. Yeah. What they're doing. You can't yeah. focus on two things at once. Yeah. And, and I mean, but we, that's when we come across. Does that make sense? I mean, I know you probably heard that. Kind of does, but you guys are public yeah. officials, so regardless if you're doing your job, mm -hmm. even if I go up and talk to you, you would have to, like, kind of take care of me. Unless you tell me, hey, I'm doing my job, can you please, like, move away, then <clears throat> that'll be different, but he never did. Yeah. And as a public okay, official. I'm, not, I'm saying aside from this, yeah. I'm not talking about. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, 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 either way, way either way, way, even if I see you, I, yeah. like, I'm still gonna approach you, I'm still gonna try to search your vehicle, get your ID in there. Yeah, That's gonna happen. I'm gonna ask you, I'm not gonna force you, you but I'm gonna ask you. I'm just, I'm trying to just give you guys I mean, some, no, I some you. orders and tips. Yeah. You can do what you're doing, yeah. you know, and almost, yeah. they'll act like you're not even there. Once you get close enough and you start taking away from yeah. Your attention of, of what they're dealing with and the th people they're dealing with start mm -hmm. focusing on you. Yeah. If it does get in the way, especially depending on the type of call, they yeah. can actually. Oh, that's different. That's that, different. That's different. You know, yeah. um, Absolutely. And also, we want to respect the rights of people, and the victims. Sometimes we're talking to victims of some serious stuff, personal stuff. Domestic so, violence or. Domestic sexual stalking. Call, you know, all kinds of different things. So just no, keep that in mind. Sometimes there is often a very legitimate yeah. reason to get yeah. some space. And you guys are, I'm sure, good enough if they said, hey, did she know that was 
No, no, we do it's know. Right to walk away. I hope you don't play that. I, I can see you guys not putting that out for the yeah. public state, and not for the public. Yeah, yeah, we're, no, no, we're public no. officials, and what we do, yeah, we, we're, yeah. we're recorded all the time. You know, so we got cameras in our cars, mics on our bodies. So yep. we're used we to them on the poles. Yeah, we're all over. <laughs> we know everyone's recording all the time. Cell phones yeah. are everywhere, so we need to respect that. We respect the First Amendment. We Thank really you, that, yeah. I'm just trying you to tell you, we just. Keep in mind, we all have different perspectives and kind of missions and agendas, but if, if, yeah. like what you're explaining to me, you, you gave no other option but to engage you as far as have a conversation with you. Yeah. I'm not sure what he was doing, but you're right. He, he was, was just watching. He was just standing there. probably going to be, hey, give me some space. I need to do my job. Yeah, I would have. I would have. give him that, it's, it's going to cause some issues. Yeah, I would have. I would have done it. Yeah. If he would have told me, hey, like, hey, you know, like, yeah. I would have done it. I, I'm like that. I'm like that. No, no for sure. Yeah, yeah, if he would have asked me to step back, I would have stepped Like, back. you'll yeah. see my videos and you'll see the, like, if you, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna watch more than the video that he told you, but if you do see, like, we're not. Okay. If the officer is cool, we're cool. If the officer is bad, then yeah, and he'll get it. Like, just you is gonna get it. Yeah, that can be subjective sometimes. Yeah. Too, I get it, but yep. like, they need to be professional. Yes, that's what we expect. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I just felt that yeah. in particular was not. Yeah, well, yeah. No, no, I, agree. I felt that wasn't professional. Okay, no, that's no, no, it. No, no, no. You know, repeatedly saying the address. I mean, that was me. That's the only reason that. Yeah, you said you missed out, you wouldn't be here. But you I wouldn't be here. Cross the line with that. I've had hundreds of interactions with law enforcement officers in various jurisdictions, you know, um, you know across the country, different states, and so forth. So I, I you know, I've, I've done this many times, and I, you know, okay. most of, like I said, just narrowed it down to Santa Maria. You know, I almost sound like a broken record, but almost all of it, the exception of two of my interactions with officers with the department, have yeah. been nothing but positive. You know, I'm, I'm not out there trying to, I mean, I don't know if you think of these types of videos or whatnot. I'm not out there trying to make cops look bad. I'm not out, especially, you know, my own city, you know, and that's not my goal. Yeah. I'm not trying to, you know, um, but, you know, unfortunately, when things like this happen, you know. Yeah. And No, but, it, totally, it totally sounds reasonable. It makes sense what you're saying, and, and we'll look into it. I'm just going to write, just 2017 was the last interaction, right? That, that one you're talking about with you? Uh, it was... Um, it was May of 2017. May 2017. Okay, I just want to be able to reference that. So. And I don't remember the lieutenant that I spoke to. Okay. Room there. No, no problem. Hey, if you don't hear something within a couple of weeks, I'm pretty sure they respond pretty quickly. Once he's get right in the process, within a, a day or two, they send a letter out saying, hey, we're, we're looking into this. Yeah, I think um, if I remember right, I think but, before the decision was made, I got like some kind of confirmation. Yeah, yeah, but if you don't, don't just call here, ask for the watch commander. Say, hey, I followed a complaint, I haven't heard anything, but that shouldn't happen. They're pretty good about getting letters up to you saying, we got it, and you see this being processed and looked into. So, okay. um, yeah, yeah, no, no more feelings. I respect what you guys are doing. Thank you. Thank you, you know, we, just, we hope everyone kind of just respects each yeah. other's parameters and, and mission sure. and, you know, responsibilities. Yeah. And we try to stay your way, obviously, let you do the First yeah. Amendment entitles you to do. But oftentimes we yeah. have a job to do and we can't have an undivided attention going on. So. Yeah, and I want free A, want to get on my raker. Yeah. You, know you, guys, you guys know Sergeant Laura? Uh, huh? You guys know Sergeant Laura? Well, <laughs> it's funny, the one other bad incident yeah. I had was with him. Oh, is that your one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not trying to put him on. Oh, that was the one over by like Juvenile Hall or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the reason I bring it up is, is he runs our community services unit. I would just say if you mm -hmm. want more clarification on what we do, why we do it, we have policies on interacting with the media and people on crime scenes and people that are recording and kind of there's law and policy that kind of gives yeah, different yeah. guidelines and authority on pushing people back when mm -hmm. you can when you can't when you can take things when you can't but try to sit down with them and just you know if you want an education on what we do why we do it and you know that's it okay. might be worth it you know it, it might help you do what you do out here yeah. and have better you know, I tend to do that a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, no, no, I agree with you. And I, I will say, I, I actually did that um, back when, um, not handsome, the chief, Ralph Martin. Martin, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had actually sent him an email through the website, okay. you know, and, and I introduced myself and told him who I was and, and what I do and so okay. forth. And I, I told him, I said, I would, you know, maybe, I don't know, interview or something, maybe yeah, I would just yeah. have a, you know, a talk. And, um, and I never got anything back, you know. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know, maybe you just, yeah. I mean, yeah, I obviously he's not here anymore, so. Yeah, I think, I think Laura's extension is like 1272, you can call and ask for but if it's something you're interested in, you're probably well-versed already, I'm sure you study law, case law, um, but we also have policy on person in the office and things like that, because I mean, yeah, you know. people are overstaffed, people yep. know, and we don't want to violate anyone's rights, but we also want to protect the integrity of investigations, people's confidentiality and privacy, 
So we got to try to make everybody happy somewhat, you know, best we can. Yeah, exactly. Just like if I saw a woman and her daughter up at the, the window trying to make up for it, I don't even walk up on them. And, yeah, yeah, we'll get some you. Some people would argue, yeah, I think oh. in a public place. And yeah, you were in a public place. Well, you're right. We're just trying yeah. to just me What's the best for everybody? Our yeah. subscribers wouldn't yeah. like that. Those type of stuff. Like yeah. if I start filming someone dying or a woman with the little girl and it's, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get, yeah, we'll get yeah. it. We'll get it. I'll tell you straight up, we'll get it. Yeah. We wouldn't do that. No, no, no. I don't really like filming accidents. I've done it before, but... Yeah, but no. Yeah, people get pissed. It's a hard time for some people. They're going through some tough times. People get mad at us. They, people get yeah. mad at us. Besides the people there. there. You know, so... Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, well, nice meeting you guys. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Levon and Nathaniel. Yeah. Yes, sir. Cool. Yeah, Danny. Real nice. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, stay safe, man. All right, stay safe. Thank you. You're very professional. You guys take care. All right, stay safe. Who's that though? Who's that though over there? I don't know. Huh, interesting. Alright, Casey, come on, boy.